Hey there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you specific areas of your life you need to develop. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's dive right into it. So self-development is the process of developing oneself through certain activities just to become a better version of that person. So let's just make it a bit relatable to you. Now self-development or personal development is the process of improving yourself through certain activities just to become a better version of yourself. You get the point now, right? Now, one thing constant in life is change. As an individual, if you do not consistently improve yourself, if you do not consistently and intentionally develop yourself, develop your craft, develop your mentality, your personality, you don't advance, you just stay at a particular level for a very long time which really isn't healthy for you. So on that note, I'm going to share with you specific areas of your life you need to develop. Okay, let's dive right in. So the first development for you is mental development. Mental development simply talks about your mind, your formation, your intellect. Now the truth is, the more you're growing in life, the mentality you have about certain things change. Okay, as an individual, you need to consistently improve your mindset you need to consistently expand your horizon you just need to consistently step out of your comfort zone just to think better so it simply means that your mind formation has to consistently advance one of the benefits of mental development is the fact that you think better and more advanced it opens you up to more knowledge thereby reducing the rate of ignorance you already have it just makes you a better thinker it challenges your mind to growth so certain ways you can improve yourself mentally is to read books books help but we are assumed not to read books in africa and it's time we changed that mentality because i still believe that there are a lot of people out there that still read books i read books you should too another way to build mental development is to watch videos watch videos that would expose you to information we have data what do you do with your data go for trainings do online courses for yourself now the truth is the lectures you got in school they're not enough now for some of us that didn't even go to school you just have to read up the world is advancing you need to catch up you just need to meet up with certain things that are happening how are you able to engage in conversations if you do not know what's happening around the world which is one of the reasons you should read listen to news even if you were taught by the best lecturer ever as a student you still need to improve yourself way better than your lecturer has taught you so you need to meet up to trends that way you're more knowledgeable that way the rate of ignorance you have is decreased okay and that way you fit into the society much more better now the next is social development now this particular development is so overlooked when it comes to social development it just focuses on your ability to improve on your communication skills we talk to people every day learn better ways of communicating with people you can start with learning a new language it's a way to upgrade yourself socially learn how to listen to people communication is not complete until your information is understood learn communication skills god we need to learn these things learn how to talk to people i have this slogan I am responsible for what I say. You, on the other hand, are responsible for what you understand. But it's not an excuse for me to become very careless with my words. As an individual that is after development, you need to learn how to communicate information. You need to learn how to keep great conversations. One of the things I go through every day as a woman is men sliding into my dm to chat me up to say hello i know one thing about it it is so boring sometimes because they just start with hi pretty hi beautiful i mean i just want you to be more creative i'm not saying you shouldn't say hi beautiful i know i'm pretty i mean i know and i love the fact that you call me pretty but the truth is i would respond to you or i would be interested to talk to you when you talk about something else because you're basically not the only person that has called me pretty before. I have a mirror. 
I see myself every day and you are basically like the one million and tenth person saying I'm beautiful so how about you talk about something else how about you bring about a discussion how about you just learn how to introduce yourself to people and stop with the whole high pretty and I think that's one of the reasons that's actually made people to even lose certain friendships because you lack communication skills how do you handle a misunderstanding without being misunderstood how do you handle conflicts between you and someone else learn how to say things without being misunderstood just learn communication skills and you know what's interesting communication is very key in relationship in marriage in friendship so ask yourself certain questions what made you lose certain friendships what made you lose certain relationships most of the times it could be lack of communication we live in a society where communication is not worked on so you have an issue with your friend and because you're so proud to say sorry you let the friendship go which is something you would have corrected if you had good communication skills really and also learn how to listen god this particular one mm, we fail at times and it trusts me i mean as a person one of the things i love is when i'm talking to you i'm conversing with you and you're listening to me listening to someone is not just about oh i'm listening to you no 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 talk i'm listening it has to do with body language if you're listening to someone talking to you your eyes let me know you're listening to me your body language makes me know you're listening to me you can't say you're listening to me and then everything is just opposite of you listening to me let your body language show that you're communicating with somebody learn the act of public speaking i want to believe most of you did seminars in school i mean in tertiary institution now that's one of the things i had to go through as a mass communication student i enjoyed it it's a secret between the both of us i enjoyed it like learn public speaking trust me you never know where you will see yourself what if you're working in a company that would need you to present or do some presentations just learn it for yourself just in case you never can tell where you find yourself tomorrow the few benefits of social development is that it helps you to learn how to keep interesting conversations i don't know about you but i am so big on great conversations like i love great conversations so you just have to be someone that knows how to keep up a good conversation <sighs> That's the secret I'm telling you right now, trust me. It also helps you to save relationships. Most relationships that have failed would have been really saved if people in that relationship had kept communication well. If you know how to communicate with people, you will learn how to resolve conflicts, you will learn how to create more understanding, you will learn how to avoid certain situations that will just put you in jeopardy basically. Okay, away from that, the next is spiritual development. So spiritual development helps you to know God more for yourself. Spiritual development helps you to build a healthy relationship with God. You cannot know God if you do not keep up communication with Him. How do you get to know God? Read the Bible. Go for church meetings. Join a department in church. Just get serious with Him. And you know one of the things it helps you to do? It helps you in decision making. There are certain decisions you need to take in your life. That you will literally need God's guidance. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit leading you as a person. Spiritual development helps you to know God more for yourself. Aside what your pastor teaches you, aside the things that people talk about, not just by what your teacher taught you as a child or my book of Bible story. Ha. It will shock you to know that a lot of us still know God based on my book of Bible story. That's a long time ago. Come on upgrade step up just know god for yourself at this point in your life it would help you to make certain decisions without pressure it would help you to gain divine guidance this is a crazy world a lot of things happen so trust me you would really need god to guide you and guess another reason spiritual development just helps you to know yourself the more as a person you don't know yourself really and the only way you can know yourself is to go to god it's just like a product that has just been made by a manufacturer how the manufacturer helps you to know how to use this product is through the manual so how do you get to know yourself if you don't go to god god is your creator if there is one way you would know about yourself the more is by going to your creator get the manual from him and know much about yourself trust me it would help you to stay away from assumptions and another thing keep good company that will help you a whole lot most of the times peer pressure makes us to just lose it but when you have good company trust me you don't lose it your life 
becomes more productive and it helps you to build accountability partners and i mean people that will keep motivating you to be on track as regards where you're going to okay so the next is emotional development oh god this particular one mm. emotional development simply refers to you learning what feelings are understanding why they occur understanding your feelings and the feelings of others and then developing effective ways to manage these feelings now the emotions we've developed so far are either affected positively or negatively by our immediate environment than the society the parenting system in nigeria is totally different from that of other countries now it is only in nigeria that your parents would not apologize to you when they wrong you the percentage of parents that apologize to their kids are very low so somehow you just find it difficult to see kids that are free to express themselves without an adult shutting them up if there is one thing we need to encourage you know when it comes to um, raising kids is to allow our children to be able to express themselves without shutting them up allow them to cry allow them to express their emotions it is in nigeria that you see people tell a young boy no don't cry you're a man don't cry you're a man men don't cry and then you see the young boy grow up with that mentality and then when he grows up he finds it difficult to be vulnerable he finds it difficult to express his emotions that is very wrong so i think we should learn how to express ourselves recognize your feelings and that of others and then learn effective ways to manage it now therapy is another way to learn how to manage your feelings we have lots of things going on every day we find it difficult to talk to a professional therapist for different reasons maybe fear of judgment you're afraid of going to the past you're still hurting from the past but we need to learn how to open up to someone that is a professional when it comes to therapy when it comes to counseling there's nothing wrong with you being vulnerable and knowing that certain feelings are normal now one benefit of seeing a therapist is the fact that you get so much support you get to understand what is normal about what you feel you also get to you know feel less pressure because of the support you've gotten and trust me you would definitely feel way better when you talk about whatever issue that borders you the next is physical goals trust me every one of us should have physical goals now the truth is you know it is related some people want to lose some weight some people want to put on some weights so basically it's different strokes for different folks but whatever works for you whatever you want to achieve you know based on your body goals just make sure you achieve it the goal is to make sure that your body system is healthy that your body is in good state so you might have to think about doing routine checkups you know once in a while do more exercises another thing that we nigerians are so guilty of is the fact that we do so much self-medication any little thing that happens to you you just know the right drug to take we should cut down on that first of all go get tested and then know what is wrong with you then get drugs prescribed for you and then you buy the drugs it's very simple because a lot of us have had our organs damaged because we keep self-medicating it is wrong sleep well like practice beauty sleep there's nothing wrong with sleeping well it just doesn't make you a lazy person when you sleep well your body just rejuvenates your body bounces back from the stress you've gone through physical development is all about learning how to take care of your body no matter how spiritual you are when you neglect your physical health it will not cancel the consequences when you die the vision doesn't die god will pass it on to someone else cut down on the sugar cut down on the the junks just cut down on excessive eating eat right so please do yourself that favor just make your body feel good let your body appreciate you let your body thank you okay guys so this is how far i can go today but trust me when you work on these areas of development you will be a better individual so guys this is not a monologue it is a dialogue i would appreciate it if you drop your comments on the comment section so just in case you don't know me hi my name is Ole Bube Emeka and i love human development i am passionate about human development so give me a thumbs up like and subscribe to my youtube channel because this is about to get hotter all right guys thank you so much